And the Sony just keeps on kicking. Man, I must have dropped this camera like five times and it's still going. They were looking at a Kenmore. So this Kenmore supposedly does not let hot water in. And so we have the setting on cold setting. So you put it on cold, turn it on, nothing happens. It's acting like it wants to. You can hear the valve. It's probably plugged up. And the problem is, is that they have this valve here that they haven't authorized me to mess with. And it doesn't want to shut off. You can see somebody busted the handle trying to shut it off. And so this valve's trying to let water in. And it's not being able to let it in. Can't, and uh, of course, it's going to be an old kind of country setting here. We probably have old pipes. And uh, there's probably going to be debris in this, in this pipe here. And so that's what I think it is. So we've got, you take these off. If I could turn that thing off, we could take that off. I mean, I can try and do a vice grip that thing. Um, and then clean these valves out. Make sure there's nothing in those screens. Take those hoses off. That's what it's acting like. Because it's getting power to the valve. You can hear it. Uh, if you didn't hear any noise, I might think it would be the timer. Um, but uh, it's getting power to that valve. It's just not letting it in. So that... See, it's dripping. So that... It's not coming in very quick. It's dripping very slowly. That indicates to me that... The valve is clogged up. And so, that's the problem. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and vice grip that valve shut. And then I can take these uh, valves loose, or the hoses loose from this uh, back of this machine here. And clean out the screens. And that would very likely solve this Kenmore problem. And if you're looking for your model number, it's normally right here. That's going to be your model number, 417-987-02890. Sears. Sears and Roebuck, you don't hear that name anymore. But, okay, so let's, uh, let's take this, uh, uh, try and turn that valve off. And then get in there and look at those, uh, screens on the cold side. See what we can do. Okay, so if you do have a problem with your valve, you don't hear your valve humming or anything. You're going to have to get in here and then take this and then get to that back of that valve. Because you can't, this is the only way you can get to the valve through the front here. And because you can't get it to it here unless you want to kind of uh, MacGyver it. Uh, take a grinder or something, grind through it. But uh, So this thing here has got these two screws on the bottom. You can see I got it lifted up with this broom handle. It's easier to get to. These two screws. And since I figure it's just a dirty valve, a dirty screen, I don't need to um, take this off anymore. So I'm putting these screws back. Because sometimes these things can be a hassle to put back on. Um, so, yeah. And this is a 220 setup. You can see the sockets are like close quarters, right? Okay, let's check out okay, that valve. Okay, so this back. is at the point where my little heat gun and my WD-40 penetrant is not working too good. Um, I put my big vice grips on that, too, and I, I, I wasn't going to tweak on it too hard, but I got the heat gun, the penetrant, and the big vice grips on that valve. With that handle off, I took, took that handle off and grabbed that stem, and it's not moving too easy, and I don't want to bust anything else. So, I'm going to see if I can get her to get her husband to replace that valve or whatever. Just tell him what's going on with it. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, because plumbing, you know, uh, I, I, the job was not about plumbing. The job was about this here, right? Supposedly, it would only let hot water in, but it actually does let the cold in, but it dribbles. And then, supposedly, this thing was not advancing, and I put it on all settings, and it advanced and shut off. So, I don't know what's up with that, but anyway... This one's over till I get to go ahead on that water valve.